everybody, so today I am doing a makeup tutorial using the one and only uh, Jaclyn Hill palette. I have not even touched it because I wanted to touch it first on camera. So as you can see, I have this little card here. I taped it in but I taped it so I can still see her little note to us. Um, literally, Stefan, he went, like, he bought this for me. He went on the website and he waited and <laughs> he was a trooper for it. And every single day he asked me, when is your palette coming in? When is your palette coming in? So finally it came in and he was like, wow, that is a really nice palette. So, and I even asked him because of course I'm not going to do a review on this palette because everybody has been doing reviews and of course that I'm not going to do a review. I'm just going to do a makeup tutorial but I am just going to touch it on screen for the first time. Also I asked him what shade draws your attention and he said this one. And it's so funny because everybody is going for this shade, which is the shade Hunts. It's like one of the shades that I know by heart already. Um, but yeah, I don't know what look I want to do today. I know I want to do something with um, this shade Chip because it's a beautiful cool tone. But at the same time, I have no idea what I want to do. There's so many, so many looks that you could do with this. Um, obviously, these colors just draw, just draw your attention. But yeah, so let me just swatch a few, just so that I can take a feel. So let's, let's swatch the shade Hunts. Such a beautiful shade. So, so beautiful. Let's swatch one of these colors. I'm gonna swatch this one, which I think it's obsessed, yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that on camera. So beautiful. Let's, let's swatch, I wanna swatch this one right here, which is the shade Diva. Wow, okay. <coughs> okay. I don't know if you can see that. So, so beautiful. I cannot. I'm so happy and I'm so lucky that I was able, that Stefan was able to get it for me. Anyway, so let's just get into the video. Hello everybody! So I am going to just start this tutorial straight away and starting off I am priming the face and I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Now, here I am showing the Anastasia Brow Definer, but um, it broke, Stefan broke it actually, and it was like the end of it, so I was like, whatever, I'll just go in with my brow enhancer, as per usual. Gosh, that was so obnoxious. Sorry. So I'm just filling in the brows. I also set the brows with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Now I'm just going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And then I'm blending it out. And uh, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette, as you can probably tell by the title and the name. And I am going to be using this first shade, MFEO. And this is going to be my transition shade. It is such a beautiful shade. I know it kind of looks like a lot of the shades that so many other brands have, but hey, it's still a beautiful shade. Now, I'm going to be going in with the shade Pukey. Now, that is such an interesting name. She did explain every single name, so you can go check her video out, why she named it. But this shade, I'm applying that in the outer V, and I'm just going to be packing it on, and this shade is called Buns, I believe, and like I said, I'm just packing it on the outer corner, 
and just keep on blending. I did leave it this in real time so you can see kind of how much time I take. So now I'm taking a smaller pencil brush, but it's still kind of fluffy, and I'm applying the shade Chip in that outer V. And I'm just keeping it in the outer V, but I believe I end up blending it inward. And then I'm just gonna take that shade Buns and blend it out. Now I'm gonna take this darker shade called Soda Pop. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did with Chip, just focus it just a tad bit lower in the corner of the outer V. And then I keep on going back in with buns. So I do apply more product so I can blend it out. But I do go in, back in with Soda Pop, back in with buns. I just keep, make sure that it's blended out completely. Now I am taking the shade... Meeks and oh my gosh the shade is so beautiful like so beautiful so buttery like I said it's the shade Meeks it's a beautiful bronzy color and because I thought it looked too just like one color I went in with the shade next to it called Hustle and I'm just applying that in the inner corner but I also go keep on going over it with Meeks so it looks one color so now I'm taking Soda Pop again, and I kind of winged it out a little bit um, and just deepened up that outer corner a little bit more. I'm checking if I like it, and I liked it. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with the face, and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I do really like this foundation, even though I have pretty dry skin, but I feel like it's not like terribly dry, and I have been loving using this brush. I don't know exactly the name of it, but I know it's in the Gunmetal collection, and it's amazing. So now I'm concealing, as you can see, and I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I've been trying to get back on this concealer, but it's so, so hard because I love the Tarte Shape Tape so much, and I forgot to put in a clip with this but I'm using the RCMA, RCMA No Color Powder, and I literally baked for two seconds, and then I wiped it away. Now I'm taking, as you can see, the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I took those two shades, and I'm just, I'm literally contouring. I haven't contoured in so long, but I do really like it. Now I'm taking the 9B palette, or I think that this is the 9N. I have to double check so but it's one or the other and I'm just using those two shades and mixing them so here I am highlighting with a makeup forever highlight honestly I have no idea what the name of it is I just know it's they have like two highlights and this is the pinkier one but I really really like this highlight it's not natural obviously but it looks really good so here I am literally just lining my lash line because I'm going to put falsies on and I want it to look as natural as possible. So I took, I believe, the shade Chip and then Soda Pop to deepen up. But I just applied that on my lower lash line. And now I'm using Kiss Lashes and Posey. I love Kiss Lashes, as you guys might know. They're affordable and they're super, super comfortable. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Mascara and I'm just applying that on my upper and lower lashes to blend in my lashes and so my lower lash line doesn't look so bare. So I'm just doing that here and it's completely out of focus. Sorry. And now I am going to be putting my lips on. I'm using the shade Bare from her summer collection and after this I am this completes the video. Actually, I do apply the Morphe Prep and Set, but after that, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!